Now, the first two I've done, as you can probably see, that's the door rail, and that's the back rail. Don't look too bad for a bit of plastic. Um, but basically what you do, you just measure it to length, then mark it, then cut it. Um, recommend doing it with a hacksaw blade, and if you've had a bit of practice, a pair of side cutters. Um, the reason I use side cutters is I used to install security and fire alarm systems, so I've done this more than once, shall we say, for many a school corridor and other bits and pieces where we weren't allowed to drill any walls because of the dust. So I'm just going to cut this to size, then set it in where I want it, then I'll take the sticky back off. So it's cut to size now, so I'm going to the back off. Hands are looking a bit dirty after doing the locks earlier. Fill that off like that. And I'll just stick it in position and then I'll come back. I can't use but I need both ends. Okay so it's now in place. A little handy tip when you're putting these up, put one of your fingers behind on both ends. Because when you push it along, that will give you the same gap from the window. It saves having to try and make it even. It will actually give you a bit of a marker to keep it straight. Um, you'll see there's a little bit of air here, a bit of light. Um, doesn't really matter because there will be pot rivets going in this later. And then you just slide the curtain rails in. Uh, let's get the first one in so you can... Just drop the first one in. So that's the clips on, as you can see. And although there's an end cap missing here, what you do with the cover, it's hard to show because I've only got covers here, is I'll I'll trim an end off here, then I'll fold it round. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Um, I just want to finish these last bits off before I go and pick the kids up from school.